get on today to talk to you about design space for desktop. This went live today, it's official, and many of you have quite a few questions. You've seen some posts about um, things going wrong or things not going right. And um, I also talked to many of you at my retreat last weekend about this. So I wanted to go over just a few FAQs, show you some of the differences, and show you how excited I am that it has rolled out. I am really liking the changes and I wanna walk you through each one of them. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is why did they go this route? First of all, it's a more stable creating platform. Those of you who have ever used Design space online when there were a ton of people creating or your internet was slow, you know that everything slowed down and it was kind of a pain to create. So by having it on your desktop, it's more stable, it's faster, it's more reliable. The other nice part is it auto updates. You're no longer going to have that little plug in thing that pops up. It'll auto update when you open it. There are also features you're going to be able to use offline, which is awesome. It works with your Windows and your Mac computers, and it's going to look identical to the version you're currently using. So when I say offline, what do I mean by offline? You're still going to need the internet to browse the image library and the full project library. There is no possible way those hundreds of thousands of images and those hundreds and hundreds of projects could possibly be saved on your device. That That's just too much space. But there is going to be the capability that you can save some of your projects, some of your images, some of your fonts offline so that you can use them when you don't have the internet. And when you save them, they'll be available to you for 30 days since the last time you connected to the internet. So things people have been asking, can you use the desktop version on a laptop? Yes, you can use it on any Windows or Mac computer. You cannot use a Chromebook or Unix or Linux, but you can use it on any Mac or Windows device. You do not have to pay for this. It is free, just like the online version. If you have access, you pay for the access subscription. That just allows you to have like iTunes, you're, you're paying to borrow songs. Access allows you to pay to borrow images. The actual creating and design space is free to use. You're not going to be able to keep using the web-based version. So if you try to use that web-based version through your Chrome browser or through Firefox, however you use it, it is going to redirect you to try to use the desktop version. And eventually that web-based is going to be gone for good. You can work offline on an iPad. This has actually been available for a long time, those of you who will use your iPad. If you've ever purchased my guides, you know that there's a Cricut project link, or if you are part of any Facebook groups where people post project links, you can still use those. If you click on the project link, it'll open it up in your desktop version of Cricut Design Space. So you're still going to be able to use this. And like I said, if you try to use that web-based version, it's just not going to work. They're, they have completely dropped it. They're not gonna update it. So you're just going to get frustrated using it. So let me tell you what has changed, and I'm gonna show you it in person here in a minute. You're going to be able to save your projects for offline use. You're going to be able to save images and fonts in the project for offline use. You're going to be able to create new projects offline, and I love this. My internet where I live drops all the time. And I also scrapbook in some cabins, or I visit remote places with my Cricut where I teach classes. And if the internet drops, you all know what happens. You either lose your project or you stall and watch the spinning circle in Cricut Design Space. The awesome part now is if your internet drops, everything stays there. You can cut offline. So if you happen to be cropping with some friends and there's no internet, you can still use your Cricut. You can work on multiple projects at once. The image search has also improved. So they have rewritten the program and the coding for the image search, and it is much better than it was. In the future, you can expect to download images for offline use and be able to download fonts for offline use. 
So let's take a look at this in design space. Like I said, this is the desktop version. It looks identical to that online version you have been using. There are a few things that have changed. So let me first show you when you go to insert your text, you'll see up here next to the Cricut fonts. So I'm going to go to Cricut right here. You're going to see it says download. So when you download these, that's going to download these fonts to your computer to be able to use for offline use. Your system fonts are already downloaded onto your computer, so you're going to be able to use them offline. The nice feature about the Cricut fonts, you're going to be able to download them for offline use. I talked about the image search. So when I look up hot air balloon, you can see I actually have hot air balloons that are showing up in my image search, which is lovely because in the past, if you search for hot air balloons, sometimes you got some weird random images in there. They have done a much nicer job with this. When I look at my projects, you can see here I have the option to save for offline. That means that it will save on my computer and if I do not have the internet, I can still cut and manipulate that design without needing an internet connection. And I love that. The other thing that it has now, when I click share, you can see I can now either share it on Facebook and Pinterest like I could do in the past, which makes it public, or I can copy the project link and I can share it as a private link through an email or through a text message or through anything. I love that they have kept this feature. This was something I was worried they were going to get rid of. Remember how I said you could do multiple windows and multiple projects at once. If you go up to file and you hit new window, you can have two, three, four, five projects that you are working on at the same time. Your machine will only connect to one window at a time while you're cutting. If you have two machines like I do, I have the Maker and I have an Air 2, I can be sending one project to my Maker and one project to my Air 2, or while my Air 2 is sitting there and cutting, I can be working in a new window on a totally separate project that I can then send to the, the Air 2 once I'm done. I love that they have done this. That is an amazing option. So that's just a few of the changes. They're coming out with more every day. Now they do recommend that you have about 370 megabytes of free disk space on your laptop or desktop com computer because that program is being downloaded to your computer. If you are going to save projects, fonts, images for offline use, you're going to need more space. So you need to remember that. You can view the full system requirements that you need at this link here, and I'll post it down in the comments also. You just have to remember, if you have a laptop that doesn't have a whole lot of space, it's just a very minimal laptop, you may need to upgrade or you may have issues saving those projects for offline use if you don't have very much free space. So you just need to remember that. How do you go about downloading desktop for design space? First of all, like I said, if you end up going to the web-based version of design space, it's going to automatically advise you to start downloading it. So you can just click on that, or you can go to design.cricket.com. You'll select download. You'll double click on the file in your downloads folder after it has downloaded. You'll select the trust option if it asks. You'll install it and then sign in using your regular Cricut ID and password. For iOS or Android, you go to the App Store or Play Store, search Cricut Design Space, download, and sign in using your Cricut ID and password. So you don't even need to change your ID. Everything's all the same. All of your old projects, all of your old images, everything will still be there. So I hope that this has helped you today. I know a lot of you were a little bit worried about this. And I know some of you were confused as to why it was happening. And honestly, I am excited about it. I'm glad they have some offline features, especially for people like me, that my internet drops a lot and I'm not going to lose my project and I'm not going to lose what I'm doing in Design Space. I hope that you guys have enjoyed today's little tutorial and that you're having a wonderful week. I can't wait to see what you create. Mm -hmm.